what's going on guys we got a very interesting bird today we have the flying dorito i'm sorry <laughs> no that's what i kind of i coined it the flying dorito uh, it's kind of a thing on my facebook group but we got the chinese j36 the uh they haven't even released really the name of it yet they they're i think we're assuming it's the j36 but uh, about a week ago, maybe two weeks ago, we saw some uh, some video of a uh, this aircraft flying around China, and uh, it's got three engines. So you can see there, we got three EDFs, and we have no vertical surfaces other than these little tiny kickups, and they are slightly canted inward to hopefully provide enough. Uh, stability vertical stability to make this thing fly it was fun to make uh, it was very difficult to model this thing because all I had were the first flight grainy images I didn't even get that clear image of the top section until I was already finished modeling it I started modeling it the day that I saw the images so um, unfortunately this is what you got <laughs> but there's three X fly 40 millimeters and it has a 2400 SMC pack, which is a weight of a 2000 to balance this thing. So let's throw it up and get it flying. I am going to try and throw it as, as straight as possible because of the, uh, the really, there's no, there's no yaw stability. So, uh, well, I hope those little winglets are enough. We're going to see. We have good conditions. Uh, it's slippery on the ground, but there's very little wind right now. So I'm just going to throw this guy up and hope she flies. I'm trying to figure out how to hold it. So let's see. Ready? Nose heavy. Nose heavy. Nose heavy, but she's flying. Little nose heavy. All right. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> hold on buddy. She's flying with those tiny little Dorito winglets. <laughs> Whoa. I cannot believe that it's actually flying this good. Ooh. All right, okay, 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 chill out. Chill out, dude. Whoa, this is nuts. Wow. Okay, let's check out the, the slower flight. This is 50% throttle. It's got a lot of power. This is not a fighter, guys. This is my first impression of this J36. A little more throttle on the bank. It flies good. Uh, they're onto something with the design. Very low, uh, uh, low observability. Cross section's good. Um, first impression on the uh, flight character is uh, lazy. So she's lazy, all right. Um, wow, a little lazy, and I have roughly the same amount of flight control surface. I didn't break it up into pieces. Um, I have roughly the same amount of control surface that they do, uh, from the bottom photo that I saw. So, uh, wow. I think I need to bring the... CG back a little bit. It's it's actually pretty pretty stable. I'm on the verge of stability with these little winglets. I know I'm going to have a decent amount of time on this because I have a 2000 milliamp or a 2400 in terms of juice. Uh Wow. Slows down okay. And it should because it's got a lot of uh, a lot of lift, a lot of lifting body here. I almost don't want to land it because I'm worried.
All right, I'm gonna do one more circuit and then I'm gonna try and bring it in. Slow it down a little bit, kind of in, uh, in preemptive. <laughs> it's, it's, it's another amazing thing like the NGAD where it's flying so good with so little vertical. Okay, bring it in. Wow. No, 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 no. Okay, good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> wow. That was fun. And yeah, hard to throw. A little bit hard to throw because it has uh, these three exhausts. Uh, they're kind of sharp. So I didn't, I thought my, I thought my uh, fingers were going to get stuck in there. But uh, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the CG back uh, slightly to see if we can get a little bit more control authority on pitch and things like that. And um, I'm gonna turn the roll rate up slightly. So I'm gonna turn the roll rate up and, uh, and I'm gonna get right back to you guys in just a second and get in another flight, hopefully a good one. All right guys, I put a 1500 in and if I can run a 1500 in this, it's gonna be optimal because it lightens the whole airframe up tremendously because 1500 versus the weight of a 2000 is a really, really big difference. So look at this thing, it's so cool. It is so, so cool. Oh, I love it. It's so cool. It flies so interesting and to have three motors, to have a top motor and two bottom motors and all living next to each other. I nestled them in kind of like a, a McLaren F1 seating arrangement where the, uh, where the, the top the top engine has um, is kind of like offset a little bit in front of the other two. All right, so the CG is back a good bit. I was one finger back from this mark before, and now I'm two. So I'm hopeful that we're gonna be able to fly this guy now. Much better. Wow. Little tiny bit of wobble, which is expected without a flight controller. No flight controller here, guys. All raw here, raw dog. No flight controller for me. It's gotta fly without a flight controller for me to release. For some reason, it's banking to the left. A little bit. Uh-oh. Well, I don't know what happened there. I think I banked a little bit too much. I need I need a little bit more um, expo. I got into a yaw situation. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna enlarge the winglets, the vertical winglets a little bit because I'm on the verge here. I am definitely on the verge of uh, of a little too much. A little too much instability, but it flies. Wow, absolutely amazing. Super cool, really cool. I lost it. Okay. <laughs> it definitely needs a little bit more stability, guys. Um, I could tell. I could tell. It was on the verge and a little bit too much uh, deflection with the old uh, Elevon. And that's what you get. You get a little bit of a, of a yaw moment and then, the, and then it's just it cascades from there and then it, it loses its, uh, its tracking. So I could have, I might have went a little bit too far back on the CG also. So there's two things uh, I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, I'm going to move the CG forward slightly, and then I'm going to make the winglets, the little kickups, the vertical surfaces. I don't even know what you call them actually. Uh, I'm going to make them a little bit larger. 
I would say 25% larger for each of them is going to be more than enough stability for this plane. So it doesn't look like it's too broken. It looks like it definitely broke a wing. Uh, I'm not going to keep you guys waiting. So <laughs> definitely crashed, but uh, I'm definitely going to print another one and get it and get it flying. But overall, good flying plane. Um, it needs, it definitely needs the gyro, uh, or some type of a yaw stability, uh, management system. If you're going to run little to no vertical surfaces, but overall I'm very, I'm very excited and happy that it flew the way that it did. So thanks for watching guys. And I will see you on the next one.